Yeah, this is, I like to call this mini LCAP. Uh -huh. And uh, we bring it to disabled organizations around the country. Today we're here at the Ability Show in Los Angeles. It's a 24 foot wall set up for adaptive climbing. We have pulley systems on there. So basically anybody with a disability can come up to our climbing wall. If they have the desire to try this, we can make that happen. Hemiplegic, someone had a stroke, uh, cerebral palsy, uh, quadriplegia, paraplegia, all sorts of disabilities can get on the wall. Well, I got hurt in a climbing accident 30 years ago. So it was sort of a progression of just getting back and started climbing again. I became a ranger in Yosemite National Park. I was a naturalist. And uh, all of a sudden I was living and breathing in the mecca of big wall climbing, Yosemite Valley. And uh, met a gentleman by the name of Mike Corbett. And Mike and I designed uh, equipment to allow a paraplegic to ascend a rope using uh, rope ascending devices. We modified them, made special pants to protect my legs, called rock chaps, and uh, after climbing El Capitan, we were rushed off to the White House and spoke to uh, President Bush about bone fishing in our national parks. Well, I imagine <laughs> they would rush you off to the White House yeah. after doing that. How did you feel afterwards? Uh, you know, I remember we were live at the top of El Cap in 89 with Tom Brokaw, and this was the, the days before digital cameras. So it was a pretty amazing event to be live on top of El Cap. And Tom Brokaw said, why did you do this? Was it for other disabled people? And I said, you know, it really wasn't. It was a, really something for myself. Mike and I uh, designed this equipment, and, you know, here it is. Next year will be 25 years ago.